Yes. Hi there. I'm Terry. And I'm a good, progressive, liberal. Yeah. And I have been a good liberal since I left school, where I had good teachers, good liberal teachers. They didn't teach me reading, writing, and math very well. But they did teach me the important things like climate change and gender equality. And you might not recognize this, but I'm a victim. Yes, I'm a victim because I identify as a cow. Because my mother was 1% cow. And, but it's not too bad being a victim. Being a victim in New Zealand. Because in New Zealand you get welfare. Yes, other people must work to pay for me so I can stay home and smoke dope all day. Yes, smoke dope. Dope is good. And I'll, I'll vote for dope in the upcoming referendum. And I'll also vote for Jacinda Ardern again. Oh, she's a wonderful woman. Oh, she is so compassionate. She wore a hijab in Christchurch recently. And she spoke Arabic recently in Christchurch. Oh, she's such a compassionate woman. And then she took guns away from people. Oh, she's a good woman. Yes. She's a definitely a good liberal woman. And being a good liberal myself, I always watch One News because they tell me the truth about everything. They report on important things like climate change and Greta Thunberg. Yes, good stuff like that. Have a look and see for yourself. Kiwi farmers are providing support in the form of free accommodation for those left homeless. The men coordinating the efforts say 500 have been in touch with offers. In Wellington, this woman's focusing on the Australian wildlife. This is one of the um, bed wraps I made for the vets who lost their mum during the bushfires. Oh, she's making sleeping bags for bats. Protects them from the heat. She's a beautiful woman. Thursday I made uh, around about 30 items for the animals affected by the bushfire in Australia. Words of encouragement for the men and women fighting the blazes aren't hard to come by. This song from a Kiwi artist based in Australia. Oh, beautiful, beautiful music. Her beautiful music will definitely encourage the firefighters. And now there's this. 
There seems to be no record of smoke from fires in Australia reaching New Zealand before, um, which really demonstrates how big and serious these blazes are, that it's making such a difference 2,000 kilometres away. Now, of course, there's been a flurry of photos and comments online um, about this, similar to that we saw in the South Island earlier this week. Here's what some people on the streets of Auckland had to say a short time ago. It's scary. It's absolutely horrendous. I mean, it's just uh, another sign of the global warming. Oh, yes. It's another sign of the global warming. Yes. Global warming is everywhere. And then there's this. Ports. It's the height of rodeo Oh, no, no. Not rodeo season again. It's so cruel. It's so cruel. Fans across the country watching cowboys ride bucking broncos and wrestle steers. But this video... Oh no! Oh no! Did you see that? That could kill the calf. And then someone will have to eat red meat. Oh. Oh no. Red meat. Then Walkworth last week shows the rope and tie event. It uses calves, and some say they should be banned. Remember, these are baby animals. They're chased down by cowboys on horseback. And oh, he's such a nice man. He's got a nice beard. I believe him. They've got a little blast earth around around their neck and I've pulled off their feet at very high speeds. It is clear that these animals are in distress and um, you wouldn't do this to your cats or your dog. Rodeo bosses, though, say the practice is scrutinised by vets and safe. These calves aren't just newborn calves. These are wean calves that are actually trained for this event. Oh, you cruel, cruel, horrible man. You cruel... Horrible man. And then there's this. In the fertile hills of Zambia. Zambia. Crisis. Hunger has arrived here. Millions now struggling to feed themselves. In once prosperous communities, women are foraging for wild roots. But it's not enough to live on. The signs of malnutrition are everywhere. Is it because of hunger, yeah? That, that when she went to the hospital, they said the cause of this is hunger. The immediate cause of this is a crippling two-year drought prompting deliveries of local and international aid and warnings, the scales don't lie, that some parts of Zambia are a step away from famine. Is that normal? No, it's not normal. It's too low. Yeah. But the bigger picture here is even more alarming. The signs that this isn't a one-off drought, that climate change, climate chaos... Oh, it's climate chaos! Climate chaos. It's now climate chaos. Blame. The rains can no longer be trusted. It used to start in October. Now we're actually seeing it start in mid-December. The second part is the distribution of the rain for itself. Uh, it's actually extremely erratic now. So the weather becoming more unpredictable and more extreme, that's not just the business as usual. That's climate change. Absolutely. Oh, yes. I believe him because he's from Zambia and Zambia has a database, a climate change database with records that go back hundreds of years. So it must be true. And then there's this. You don't get much more Kiwi than a leisurely stroll through native bush transplanted into the Auckland Tennis Centre or helping launch a Kiwi-made tennis ball that's biodegradable and has native plant seeds inside. Oh, a biodegradable tennis ball with native plant seeds inside. That's so good. That will save our planet. Yes, I'm back. 
So now you know who I am. I'm a good, progressive, liberal, and I'm going to vote for Jacinda Ardern again this year because I want a good, responsible government in power. The Greens, Labour and Winnie are good for this country. They care. They care about you. They care about your freedom of speech. They care about gun owners. And they're so good with your tax dollars. They don't waste a penny. And they're so good with immigration. And they are so good about protecting our sovereignty. So it's a no-brainer. I'll vote for them.